We want to thank Fume for sponsoring today's video. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong, so instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative, award-nominated device that does just that. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, Fume is good. It's a habit. You're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habits easy. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habit. When I got this thing, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I actually, just it being in the shop, I can smell, I know you can too, Mike, smell the mint that just comes out of this. The flavor that I have is crisp mint. It's just like breathing minty air. My favorite part about this thing is it's actually like a super nice piece. Um, when you take it apart, there's the, there's the little cartridge that goes in. It looks like just a machined lathed piece of metal with a wooden cover. Put this on and basically you're just breathing air from this end, out this end, through these all natural mint cores, they call them. It's got a really good weight to it. This is just something I could see you replacing a bad habit with. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com slash tommyeffia or scan the QR code and use code tommyeffia to get 10% off. That's tryfume.com slash tommyeffia to save an additional 10% off your order today. Good morning, we're here in the old garbage bathroom. That's what we like to call it, but uh, I got something special to show you guys. Well, you just saw it. You just watched it come off the trailer. This is special to me. I think this car is super rad. And this is my first, I would say JDM Cokey Sylvia that I've seen. So what you have here is a really clean, it's dirty right now, but this car shows insane. I haven't washed it, I don't wanna wash it. Um, and the bay is a little crusty, but this car is super rad. This is a JDM S14 Cokey Sylvia K's. That shield notates that it's a turbo. I don't know why it's yellow. I'm not good enough at S chassis to know that. I should know that, but I don't, um, but this car just got dropped off, came all the way from Arizona, and we're about to do a batch of S chassis. We'll do some S14s and some S15s at the same time. That's how we like to do it. And a lot of them are getting the same parts. We're doing 2.2 liters in a bunch of them. And we're throwing the whole HKS catalog at this car. So it'll get the HKS front mount, the HKS 2.2 liter, the HKS single turbo, uh, Greddy intake manifold, et cetera, et cetera. But I wanted to show this car because it's exciting to see something different. You know, you got an R34 over there. We got a 32 over here, a lot of Skylines. We don't see a ton of S chassis, not as many as I'd like. So this car is super cool because it's a full aero. Well, I say full aero, but I'm unsure on a couple things. So someone correct me in the comments. We've got the JDM bumper. We've got the Koki skirts, which look the same as USDM. We've got the rear uh, bumper. I thought there were spats, but the spats, might be for the non bumper like that. I, I have no idea, someone correct me. But it also has the wing. This car is super cool, no sunroof, which is rare because this is a case. Um, and that notates that it is a turbo. It's pretty much top of the line Sylvia. It's about as top of the line as you can get. It's sitting on the gold TESLs. These are 18, 10 and a half, 15 I think. And then 18, 9 and a half, 22, or maybe 18, 10 and a half, 22, 18, 9 and a half, 22. Ignore this seat. This car was shipped with this shitty seat because we'll be getting rid of it and putting in some aftermarket seats. But this car is a super cool pattern, I think, on the rear seats. Interior is real nice, crack free dash. And I love the Koki triple meters. This is going to be a super cool project. I'm excited that we get to do this. And I'm excited to do S chassis and just, they're a little simpler get away from the norm of the Skylines, but we're gonna batch them. So we're gonna do four or five S chassis all at the same time. Bay's a little crusty, but this is a turbo S14 notch top. Pretty much the same setup as the S15, minus a couple little items. One being the turbo itself. But this bay is dusted, so we're gonna do our, our process on this. Two, two, we'll make this thing cool. I just wanna get a before. And this car will have its own complete build video, but Basically, just filming this to show we have a different car here in the shop, a different 
I don't want to say a different car, a different model car. And made it all the way from Arizona, made it from Japan to fucking the West Coast, then to Arizona. And now it made it here without any issues on the trailer, on loading, nothing, which is what we love. But I was thinking about that because I just had to do something super sketchy with the trailer and we filmed it. So I'm going to put that right now. With what we had now. No, oh, but I mean, if you're trying to like move this trailer and this one. Oh, yeah. I think, it, I think it's fine. $4,000 truck putting it to work. It's an engine assembly day, so there's a fucking mess, but I wanted to show you guys one thing before I got into something. We've just put the paint match valve covers in the igniter delete on this car, and it looks so sick. Paint match valve covers and paint match igniter delete. Same thing we did on LZ's car. I just thought that was super rad. So anyway, uh, the reason that I just did that trailer nonsense is for a couple, couple reasons. One, we sold the enclosed and sold the big trailer. I sold my little enclosed because I got rid of my F450 and I'll use it. In doing so, we were selling the Denali that was here uh, because we just are letting people ship their car their way. It was cool to pick them up and be able to pick them up for people, but it rarely financially made sense. It was always like dead legging one way, so we kind of just decided not to do that. However, the sad thing, on the way to bring the trailers to sell them and to sell the Denali, the Denali exploded with like 118,000 miles. So everyone told me those diesels were bulletproof. That's not really true. But anyway, um, I just wanted to get you guys caught up on where we were, show you the trailer uh, nonsense, slip that into a video because 
I think it's worth noting that I was able to back a truck in a 24 foot enclosed trailer that's the exact same width as a, I don't know what you call those trailers, like a, a utility trailer, like a heavy equipment trailer. The sketchiest part, which I haven't watched the footage yet, but I, I, I lived through it, was getting that huge enclosed trailer over the other fenders. But we did it, we pulled it off, and uh, luckily everything is how it should be now. The Denali is sold after it blew up, the trailers are made it to Texas where they were going, and uh, all is well. Anyway, I will be back with a serious video. We are going to go vis visit Alex Bowman and drop the GTR off to him after a couple little, 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 little tiny things. And that's gonna be a banger video. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys next time um, with some more substance. You know, this is just a catch up video. Bye.